Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Micro Mutants Sweeper Ops Vehicle Playset and I love this toy. Originally released in 2017, it is available in retail right now as of the time of this recording and it retails for approximately $40. However, being that it's the holiday season, some of these are starting to show up at discount stores. I found mine at Ross for 20 and at that price, I could not pass this up. Now, this guy is absolutely massive and I have no idea how I'm going to shoot this thing. It's gonna be very difficult. It's definitely gonna be challenging because this thing is probably one of the bigger Ninja Turtle vehicles that I have. Um, this, re uh, this guy comes in at about 17 inches long and about seven and a half inches tall, right here at the top of the uh, smokestacks or in the top of the uh, cab here. Absolutely huge. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous vehicle and really, really neat and interesting vehicle here because this doubles as both a vehicle for the regular four and a half inch Ninja Turtle figures and then it also opens up and it turns into a playset for the micro mutant figures that are starting to come out now uh it does come with a couple of micro mutant figures included uh it comes with this uh leonardo right here we'll see if i can get this guy uh to show up on camera focus focus it does not want to focus it's gonna be these guys are tiny and hard to focus in so there's there's a uh, leonardo looks really good i uh, could definitely use some brown paint on the uh on the belt but other than that really good looking leo um then you got raf right here Again, maybe some brown paint on the belt and uh, uh, he could have used some white on the teeth. And then he also comes with this shredder figure, which looks absolutely stunning. So uh, let me see, let me back this guy away just a little bit so that we can bring in the box. I wanna show you guys what the box looks like. I, I always enjoy the uh, boxes for these, um, for these vehicles uh, just because of the crazy things that they put in there. So here you have the front of the box and there's a little window here on the top that shows you the three figures that come included. Three micro figures, uh, uh, micro figures included. Compatible with the four and a half inch figures. You can see Leonardo right there driving the vehicle. Uh, includes uh, the Super Ops vehicle playset, three micro figures, additional vehicle and figures sold separately. And then it shows you all these uh, micro figures being swept up over here. And then on the side, it shows you uh, how the vehicle opens up and transforms to become a playset. Uh, going around the sides, it just kind of shows you some of the features uh, that we're also gonna see in the back. Um, let's see on this side it shows you how the uh, sweeper feature works and we're gonna look at that and then uh, some cross cells on the bottom showing you some of the other uh, micro mutant sets that are available they're really starting to push all these micro sets now so history is repeating itself I remember with the original Ninja Turtle line um, back in the 80s and 90s once those started to die down they uh, all the micro figures started coming out and they really kind of started pushing that for the bigger figures, you started getting a lot of crossovers, and we're starting to see a lot of the same repeating itself now, which is kind of cool to see it happening again. So, uh, here along the back, we see again the figure uh, or the uh, the well, picture of the vehicle itself, showing how it is compatible with the figures. It shows you how the sweeping feature works, and then it shows you a picture of the uh, vehicle opened up again in playset mode and then it, it this is where all the features start coming in so operations lookout right here on the top uh which is nothing more than just a place to stand figures uh it doesn't really do anything else uh overhead walkout you've got a sewer jail lid which is really cool how that works uh the sewer jail itself and then uh you've got a command platform which you really kind of have one on each side so that's cool and then again uh, the getaway ramp, which is really, really cool. So let's bring the vehicle back into frame. And it's really neat how this works uh, to sweep up the figures. And and I'm kind of uh, at a loss here. I don't really know how what order I want to show this in because um, we I want to show off the, the sweeper and how that works. And then when we get finished here, I want to sweep them up and kind of do a demonstration of that. Uh, you know what? First, let's look at... All the uh, all these little pegs. This guy is littered with all these little pegs on the roof here. And then if you open up the cab, there's little pegs all over the place here too. So if you don't have any of the bigger figures to play with, you can still peg these little figures. They have little holes on the bottom of the feet. And you can peg them all over the place. So you can just 
little of this guy with little mini figures everywhere. And uh, we'll just put those guys there. So you can kind of pretend that the little mini mutants there are operating the vehicle. And then uh, you can have Shredder up here and uh, maybe some other bad guys. Let's see. I went ahead and picked up a couple more of these just because I love these little mini figures. So we'll put Rocksteady up here. Uh, see if he wants to peg. I, that's the first time I've had a problem pegging any of these guys. And there you go. So there's Rocksteady and there's uh, the Shredder. And uh, for good measure, why don't we go ahead and put Bebop up there as well. Uh, so there you go. So you can have little figures all over the place. And uh, they actually hold rather well. Well, Bebop and Rocksteady are not. But you can see Shredder's holding rather well. And what I've been doing is uh, I've been putting uh, Leonardo here in the driver's seat. And then I've been putting uh, this little mini Leo up here to just kind of keep him company. Kind <laughs> of like he's driving with a little figure of himself. Um, so why don't we go ahead and show off how the big figures work into this. So like I said, I've been putting Leo in the driver's seat a lot. So we'll go ahead and put Leo right back in here. You can see that there's a whole seat here uh, for any of the turtles. You can put any of the turtle figures. Uh, I just chosen to put Leo on here because that's the one that they had in the package. So uh, you can grab these little handles here and just put them through his hands. And uh, and that's it. And now Leo is in the driver's seat and uh, controlling the sweeper. There you go. Just like that. And then you can just close it up and away he goes. Leo's ready to drive this guy off. Now, there aren't exactly any more places uh, for anybody to go into or sit or anything like that. You have to get a little creative. Uh, I do want to show, uh, oh, let's start over here on this side. And uh, so here's, here's what I like to do. This is the way that I like to set them up. Uh, they show you in the package that you can hang some of the figures here on the back. And you do have a sticker there saying, uh, caution, no step. Uh, but there is a handrail up here. So, of course, you know, these guys are going to grab these handrails and stand right there. So I've been taking Mikey and I've been setting him up right there and just kind of hanging out just like so. And then I've been coming over to the other side. And this is where I've been hanging Raph. Now, Raph is in a more of a dynamic pose there, like he's ready to uh, take somebody's head off <laughs> with his sigh. And then for Donnie, what I've been doing is there's this hatch up here that opens up. And this really doesn't do anything as far as play goes in the playset mode. So I've just been opening this hatch up. And since Donnie's the skinniest, I've just been kind of uh, getting him in here and just kind of posing him like he's coming out of the hatch. Just like, the, just like so and just kind of, I don't know, um, hollering at Leo and letting them know which way to go or, you know, something like that. So... So that's, that's how I've been doing it. Uh, and that's how I've been uh, getting this thing to play along with, with the bigger turtles. So there you go. Now, uh, to get into the actual playset mode, uh, you can leave Leo here. That's fine. Everybody else has to come off. So we'll go ahead and get Donnie. Let's get Raph. Come around this side and get Mikey. And then uh, I want to show you a little more of the details here and how this works before we get it actually opened up so real quick just to look at the detail a lot of sticker detail on here uh, a lot of valves and cranks and lights and that kind of stuff in here uh, you do have the sweepers here and these do spin so you can just kind of hit those uh, they're not automated or anything like that they're just uh, sitting there on those pegs so you just kind of have to hit them yourself if you want them to spin uh, danger keep out uh, a lot of uh, warning markings here along the back and a little couple more of these uh, caution and no step stickers and whatnot on this side here. Now, I, I really love how they've kept with the theme of the yellow and green truck. And the whole back of the sweeper has that turtle shell detail. Love that. Absolutely looks incredible. So, uh, one last thing before we get into the actual playset mode. Uh, this does have the actual sweeper function. So, what I'll do is... Let's see, um, it will actually, it picks up the little figures. It also picks up these little cars. So I can just go ahead and put that there and I'll just roll over it just like that. And then when I come back, you'll see that the car is gone. Just like that. So uh, let me open this up and kind of show you how this works. So if you open this, bring this down, you can see the car sitting right back here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this 
lid here. This comes off of the uh, vehicle. When you first open it, you actually have to assemble it and put stickers inside and all of that. So now you can see inside here is this conveyor belt, belt, conveyor belt right there. So as the vehicle is rolling, these brushes are sweeping along and it'll just pick up any of these cars or even the little figures. Now, just like the package shows, sometimes the little figures do get stuck in here in between the bristles and it is meant to do that. Uh, but if you keep rolling the vehicle, eventually they will come off those bristles and uh, land right here. There's a scoop. You can see the little bristles right here hitting that scoop and then they'll push up into the conveyor belt. So we'll come over to the other side and you can see the conveyor belt right there. So as this is rolling forward, you can see the conveyor belt rolling backwards. So this is rubber and it's a good grippy, sticky rubber and it's got these teeth right here. So as it's rolling, it's just pulling everything in and then it'll just scoop it right in here. And then this is actually a bit of a, like a, I guess a downhill. This is actually angled downwards. So whenever, whatever gets here, as soon as it gets here, it's just gonna kind of fall in there. And uh, normally you would have that closed, you would have the lid. So everything that you're picking up is actually getting stored in this little area here, which is our, our uh, sewer lid jail cell. So that's, that's uh, pretty much the, the gist of how that works, which is really, really genius. And I really love how that works. Now, let's go ahead and get the uh, lid put back in the place. And uh, you've already seen the first part of the transformation, which is uh, there's a little release button right here. You press that button, you open these uh, shell halves up, and then this lid back here just kind of comes down. Now, once you get to this point, this is gonna be hard to shoot. I'm gonna have to, you know what? Let me move the angle because this guy's gonna get a little big. All right, so we uh, backed up a little bit there. Now, uh, once you have the shells halves opened up, you can take this ramp here and just pull up on this, and this is in three pieces, and just straighten that out, and that's gonna come all the way down just like so. There are three ramps here at the top that are gonna swing out. And uh, actually, you're gonna start with the one here in the front. This is gonna swing up. And there's a little tab here that's gonna tab in to the slot right there. Just tab that right in there. And then these two ramps are gonna do the same. There's a little tab. And if you look at the sides, there's a little slot right here for these to tab into. So that's just gonna tab into each half. And there you have your play set all ready to go. Now, um, let's come in closer to look at some of these details. So you can see right here on the inside of the shell, you have a lot of little platforms, uh, all kinds of space where you can just kind of stand your little figures at and uh, make your battles uh, right here. I have a hard time standing these little micro mutants. This is my first experience with the micro mutants and I quite haven't gotten used to them yet. So I have trouble standing them up and posting them, but there you go. You can put little, you know, these little figures all over the place and just kind of make your own little battle scenes. There you go, just like that. And then you've got your little bridge here. You've got another bridge on this side. Over here on this side, we got some more platforms, another bridge. Uh, we have this uh, hatch that we opened earlier. As you can see, it just, it really doesn't accomplish anything. I mean, I guess you could use this as some kind of an escape hatch or something like that. Uh, I'm not really sure. The box or the instructions don't say anything. There's no mention in the packaging of this at all. So, I mean, I guess you can just do whatever <laughs> you want with it. And then right in the center, this is where all the good stuff is happening because we're going to start off right here with the sewer lid uh, trap door. So you've got this little sewer lid right here and you can place some bad guys right there. Uh, and they're unassuming and uh, the turtles are just kind of luring them in and just kind of surrounding them. And then when the when they least expect it, you can just push down. Now, this is a little hard. It may not work the first time for me, but you just push down on the figure and uh, the trap door opens and they'll fall into the jail. And apparently Leonardo fell through as well. So you can just go ahead and take your bad guys and just drop them in the trap door and uh, they'll fall into the jail. He didn't fall in. So let's grab the um, foot soldier here and we'll drop him into the sewer jail. Now. Uh, to release everybody from the sewer jail, what you want to do is uh, lift up the lid and open this door right back here and you're going to see all of your figures sitting right there. So look at that. Shredder's actually standing up. That's crazy. What are the odds of that? So we'll get Leonardo out of there and then you can just get everybody out. Another caution sticker right here. A lot of details, a lot of stickers. Spend a lot of time putting stickers on this thing. 
So that's uh, that's in the center there. That's our uh, jail cell. And then we'll go ahead and uh, close the jail door one more time and bring down the ramp. And this is our getaway ramp. So I think I popped that. Yep, I sure did. I popped both of them actually. So you can get these um, these small vehicles here and uh, you can just place them here on the ramp and just use that to get away. So very, very cool. And there you go. There is one last look at the Sweeper Ops playset in full playset mode. Everybody's in there just kind of having a little battle. Uh, there's Donnie uh, preparing the truck. Uh, a couple more of the vehicles coming along. And then there's Raph uh, coming down the escape ramp. And uh, there you go. Everything is set up. A very, very cool playset. I am having a lot of fun with this vehicle in this playset right here. So now we're all done playing and there is only one thing left to do. And what's that? We need to clean up. So we're going to get all our figures out of here and we're going to get the sweeper and we're just going to roll right over our figures here. And uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. We got a couple of stragglers. And we can throw those guys on down there. And there's a, you can see the foot soldier got stuck there in the bristles. Let's see if we can let him loose. And uh, yeah, that's, oh, the foot soldier's still there. And uh, he is not letting go. So we're going to have to do that one again. And uh, that's it. That's it. He is all gone, all gobbled up. And if we look in here, can we look in here? You can see everything is gone. Everything got swept right up so there you have it one last look at the teenage mutant ninja turtles micro mutants sweeper ops vehicle playset i am having so much fun with this vehicle and because it just works as both as the vehicle and a playset and it's my first experience with the micro figures and i'm just having a lot of fun with this thing the only thing i don't know what i'm going to do is I don't know where I'm gonna put it because it's so big. I just, I gotta figure out where it's gonna go. But I think that about does it for the uh, Sweeper Ops vehicle set. What did you think of this figure? Or what did you think of this vehicle? And what would you like to see me review next? Let me know by leaving me a comment, give me some thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.